If you work all day for someone else and then you come home and decide not to chase your own dreams, the only person that loses is you. So make the time to follow your own dreams. I'm Peter Sanders and I'm here to tell you, don't quit. My name is Peter Sanders, I'm 22 years old, I'm born in Dumfries, Scotland. I currently work as a primary teacher and um, I have a passion for fitness. So what drives me is to improve myself every day in some shape or form whether that's through like reading to like, educate myself on particular topics or whether it's through training to like improve my physique. So like just improving myself every day and maintaining a happy lifestyle. I don't want to feel that when I'm 70 years old that I look back on my life and think, I wish I did that. Or I didn't do that because I was too scared to do it. So like I, I want to have the confidence in myself never to give up on like any dream or any goal that I have or set myself. I just feel like it's so important for everybody that if they have a dream of some kind, that they don't just let it slide or just give up on it. The challenge was just to get stronger and to improve my physique. Um, so from when I was about 16 years old, like that's when I kind of realized like something needs to happen. Uh, so. But I didn't really know what to do. I didn't, wasn't really educated on how to do it. So it was only maybe a couple of years ago that I really started to get serious about training and to actually try and achieve that challenge of getting bigger, getting stronger and changing my lifestyle. I could have maybe 33 children in my class. That's the max. Um, and you've got all these kids looking at you. I suppose the reason I wanted to make that change to shape shape these young minds, because they are the future for everybody. Like they could be the future prime minister. I, I want to kind of get it in their head that no matter what it is that they want to be, they can achieve it. And by me being the person that set goals for myself and not giving up on them, if I can show them that I can achieve things by not giving up, by not quitting, then they can do it as well. So achieving your goals is entirely over to discipline. And that's the only thing you need is discipline. You can be motivated and still not achieve your goals because if you're not disciplined, it's the days that you're in bed and you really can't be bothered getting up to do the exercise. It's discipline that gets you out of the bed. It's not actually the motivation. Like motivation, is what will initially make you want to change and make you want to achieve those goals. And it might help, it does help, but discipline is where it's at. I started to become quite vocal on social media. So initially when I was focusing on strength training, I would say, right, in three months time, I'm gonna pull 180 kilos. Three months time, I pulled 180 kilos, so which is great. But then you'd have comments on that, oh, you've got rubbish form, or oh, this is horrendous, he's going to break his back, things like this. And you're just like, I've just achieved something that I set out to achieve. And people are taking time out of their day to try and degrade that, which a lot of people would feel really disheartened with it. And initially I did. And it's, it was really difficult not to just like, just delete their comments and just block the people and just get them out there. Up, you got it. Up, up. Look, oh my god! Yes. No matter what you do in life, people will judge you no matter what. So do what you want, 
because people are going to judge you anyways. And if you don't do, do what you want, then you're trying to please people that will never be pleased because you cannot please everyone ever. It's just, it's just a fact. So, so I just began to learn that people are going to judge me. And the way I look at it, if I get hate comments on my posts, it's still engagement. And engagement on your post is good, whether it's good or a bad comment. If they're engaging with what you're doing, they're actually taking time out of their day to think about you, which is quite special. If you can, if you can get somebody to take time out of their day to comment on your life, you've actually impacted them, whether they like it or not. Even online hate, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a roller coaster with emotions at times. So like. I've I've actually got a post on my Instagram. I collated all the hate comments that I've ever got. I put it up, and you look at it and you think, "Oh my god!" It's actually one of the things that fuels me to keep on going. So, like on the days that I can't be bothered getting out of bed, I'll remember a comment. Like one of them that sticks in my head is, "You train hard, but your body sucks," and it really resonated with me. I just found it funny because it's like it's like a compliment sandwich almost. They're saying, "Oh, you train really hard. Great." But your body sucks and I just thought I'm not gonna have that like I find like these people need to be proven wrong like they need to be put in their place almost um so I, I use the comments as fuel to keep on going the days that you really can't be bothered going or the days like you're two hours into your workout and you still have I don't know another hour to go but you just you want to just go back and just sit on the couch you start thinking of those comments like I, I don't think of the comments of somebody saying oh great physique you've done really well like fantastic transformation they're not the comments you think of when you're two hours deep into a workout and you're struggling. You're thinking of the comments of the people that's saying, what's he been doing with the oblivion? Has he been flushing it down the toilet? Because he's clearly not using it. And there's some of the comments that I've heard. So I'm thinking to these people, nah, I'm, I'm going to show them. I'm going to show them what I can actually do and prove them that they're wrong. I think it's really important, although I said like the comments, like you're not thinking of the positive comments when you're like struggling in a workout. I think having a close team of supportive people is important. That on the days that you do feel not so great about yourself, you do have somebody there to kind of build you back up and say, look, right, you're not giving up, that like, you've you've came this far, like, or you you do look great. Like you've done you've done amazing progress so far. I think it's important to have supportive people in your life. And whether that's family, friends, or even people that you've never even met, like the amount of support that I've got online from people I've never met in my life is like a lot of the time I get likes from people that I've never met over people that I went to school with. Yet you know that they can see your content. So you post the story, you see everybody who's seen it, and they're choosing not to support you. Whereas you have randomers out there that really want you to do well. So I think it's important to have a supportive, a supportive team and it doesn't need to be big. A close circle is sometimes, like a small close circle is sometimes better than a lot of fake people. So I think one of the most important things to keep inspired is progress pictures. So initially, when I started my transformation, I took progress pictures every day, every single day, just got in a routine, like from the front, from the side, from the back. Every day I took them, and every day I would just get up, just do the same routine, and just have it saved. So I'm just gonna do a front pose, just relax. Then I do a bicep. And down, just from the side, relax. Other side, relax. Eventually, so then like you can look at your progress basically. So if you can't be bothered continuing, you look back. Like the amount of times I've looked back at my day one picture is unbelievable. Because I'm like, that's where I came from, was that. Now I've got to hear. So for somebody seeking inspiration, if they've already started, it's to look at where they've, how far they've come. And for somebody seeking inspiration for somebody who's not started, It'd be just really thinking about the reason why they like why they want to start what, what what is the reason that they want to achieve that goal it's having the belief in your goal and, and the belief in yourself that it is only just a matter of time till that goal is going to be achieved
you've got a 100% chance of failure if you give up. That's guaranteed. Whereas if you don't give up, you're giving yourself that chance.